Hello everybody, welcome. Today is Monday, July the 6th. I actually am off today. Uh, took a long weekend. Please excuse the appearance. I am uh, actually doing a lot of uh, home cleaning and cooking, laundry, linen cleaning, and uh, getting ready to take a shower, as you can tell. So I have to go back to work tomorrow. Anyways, welcome to Yarning with Mimi. This is episode 39. Thank you for joining me. And uh, welcome to new subscribers. Thank you for hopping on board and checking us out. And uh, thank you all for returning viewers for uh, coming back and spending some time with me. Anyways, this will be a very short episode. Only because I haven't made a... Well, I've... I've made a lot, but only of one thing, maybe two things. And um, I'm giving them all away tomorrow, so I wanted to hop on and show you what I've been up to. So anyways, uh, I am Sherry Ann, also known as Mimi, which is what my grandchildren call me, hence Yarning with Mimi. I just really do love that name. And this is, like I said, episode 39. So anyways... Uh, I haven't figured out how to do all the um, linking and all that stuff yet. I, I promise I will try to figure it out sometime, not sure when, but down in the uh, description box you'll see my email and my address. If you ever uh, feel the need to shoot me an email or send me a card or, you know, whatever. Anyways, love getting real mail through the snail mail. Okay, so this is the point in time where I talk to you about Mimi's Kind Knits. Mimi's Kind Knits is my uh, very small nonprofit organization that I created a few years ago. It is registered with the state of Texas, and um, I do a lot of uh, charity, a lot of knitting and crocheting, and donate it to various charities. Oh, let me pull this out. So, as you know, I do a lot of washcloths. I participate with the Pink Slipper Project. I'm looking for something, sorry. And uh, they want slippers and uh, washcloths and sometimes some pet cozies because there are some shelters that take, um, that take animals. Anyways, I did make these washcloths. This is 13 washcloths. I actually got 13 washcloths with the exception of this little little triangle here where I had to add some to finish the 13th washcloth. And I made that with peaches and cream. It is a 14 ounce ball, 400 grams. Uh, let me see, does it tell you the yards? Yes, 706 yards. And this colorway is Emerald Energy. I've used that before and I have a lot of uh, washcloths made out of that. So anyways, in a, in a future video, I'm going to show you, I think there's five different patterns that I use. And I'm going to make them in a plain color so you can see the definition of the stitches. And then I'll show you that, but that'll be in the future. And so another thing I'm working on for Mimi's Kind Knits is another shawl. I do donate to my local nursing home uh, shawls uh, for the ladies. But there's also another podcaster who's collecting items for uh, veterans in her community. So I might, might send some shawls that way. So here is the start of a shawl. I guess it, it goes this way. Well, this is the start, so this is the point, and this is what it's looking like. Kind of hard to see the colors, but it's really nice. It's, it's like peachy, orangey, and some brown colors. I am using Premier Sweet Roll for this. It is a weight 4 yarn, and this colorway is... Holy moly. Cheesecake pop. I was able to see it. Okay, so that's it for Mimi's Kind Knits for this week. And let me show you what I've been working on that's going to be leaving me tomorrow. 
So I've worked on some ear savers. You know, everybody's wearing these masks and a lot of the masks have the, look at my hair. <clears throat> a lot of the masks have those ear uh, elastics and people are getting sore ears. So I did have a friend reach out for me from a previous position that I had at, at a hospital in, an, in another city and asked me if I was still knitting. Of course, I'm still knitting and crocheting. And uh, what a silly question, right? And so asked me if I could make some for her department. There's about 13, 14 people in her department and she requested some for personal use for her mom and daughters. So I did make several. I've made about 20, maybe 19. And so here I made uh, three different patterns. I'm gonna show you the three different patterns. Here's one and look at the button made what does it say handmade for you with love and so there's oh my goodness i have a candle burning over here it's burning my arm oh gotta be careful i guess so handmade with love there's the button and there's the ear warmers i mean ear warmers <laughs> it's an ear saver so you put it behind your head and instead of attaching the elastics to your ears you hook them around the buttons and it saves the ears so I also made that same pattern in a very light purple, really kind of hard to tell, with these buttons. Sorry, time for a manicure. And then here's another pattern in a different yarn. This is more of a cotton yarn, but look at how nice that turned out and look at the heart buttons, aren't they pretty? So there's that one. And here's blue with just the round buttons. So I made, I said 20, but it's probably 19. 19 of the ear savers. Uh, three different patterns, and I used uh, various uh, YouTube tutorials. Okay, so. The other day I posted a little amigurumi that I made on my Facebook page and one of my daughter's friends saw it and like, oh my God, what, what other animals can your mother make? Can she make a bumblebee? And so, I have fiber, sorry. So I did make, she wanted a very large one made with some jumbo size yarn, which is a Michaels brand yarn and I checked Michaels and they are out of stock. I checked online, look at my hair, and online is out of stock. So I thought, well, let me just make her a bumblebee and see if she likes it, and then we'll talk. So this bumblebee is using um, worsted weight yarn and a, I think a 4.5 millimeter hook. But isn't she cute? There, I use safety eyes, just the yarn for the smile, and the wings. And this is just uh, worsted weight. I love this yarn. Maybe some um, Red Heart Super Saver. And I attach my little card that I have. And so this bumblebee pattern is a YouTube tutorial. And um, you can get it, let me see, it's called Crochet Bumblebee Amigurumi by Hooked by Robin. So type in Hooked by Robin Bumblebee Amigurumi and this is what you get. Isn't she adorable? So I've made 14 so far and uh, I made one for my daughter's friend and then of course my daughters asked me for one and I'm making them for the nursing home where I work for the residents the activity director, you know with this COVID-19, there's a lot of restrictions placed on uh, a lot of things that we can do. So our activity director is very creative in the activity she provides for residents. Uh, In-room visits and activities, hallway activities where residents can be in their doorway but still uh, practicing social distancing and wearing masks. And then she has snack snack days uh, twice a week. Uh, they take around carts and they have various snacks, uh, of course, taking into consideration any diet restrictions for the residents. 
And so um, I thought it would be really nice to be able to hand out some little stuffies while they're handing out their snacks. So I made, uh, I think it's like 14 bumblebees that I'll be taking this week. Something else that I've also made is some narwhals. I showed you these on a previous podcast. There's, there's the horn, the little safety eyes, the little fins, and look at the little tail on the back. So I'm making girl and boy narwhals also to go along with the um, bumblebees to pass out for safety or for safety for a snack day. And the narwhals is, I did mention this in a previous podcast, it is a tutorial by Knit Grit. So go ahead and, and I tell you, those narwhals take no time at all. And, and the bumblebee also. Bumblebee a little longer, but maybe an hour, mm, hour and a half for the bumblebee and less than an hour for the narwhals. Okay, so I showed you my ear savers, my bumblebee, and my narwhals. And that is really, and also the shawl that I'm working on. So that is really all that I have for this episode. Just something a little personal. Um, I did share with you last podcast that I did register for my Bachelor of Science in Healthcare Management. So I'm really excited about that. And uh, real class starts tomorrow, July the 7th. And they are five week sessions. And so July the 7th to August the 13th will be my first session. So this this session, I'm only taking one course because it's been quite a long time since I've been in school and never have I had to do school online using a computer and submitting papers and assignments um, through the internet. So I thought I would only take one course to get my feet wet and see how it goes. And then starting next session, I'll be taking two courses. So anyways, just to let you know, this first course tomorrow and all day today, I've been working on the orientation and submitting an, uh, there's like two assignments for the orientation. No credit, but just, just to get your feet wet and kind of get the feel for the virtual classroom, virtual campus and navigating the system. So I've done that today and took a sneak peek in my class uh, that starts tomorrow. So tomorrow's class, I have my notes here, is called Academic and Career Success. So if that doesn't sound interesting. So I'm really excited. I've done some reading and taken some notes. And uh, yesterday I actually went to Walmart and did some school supply shopping isn't that fun so uh school supply shopping for me not one of my six children but for me and uh did not go overboard because i'm only doing one course but got a few cute little uh notebooks and pretty pens and a little um a little thing to put on my table i'm using my kitchen table as my desk right now to uh, organize like little sticky notes and ruler and pens and pencils, scissors, you know, whatever. So anyways, I'm really excited about that. Well, that is about it. I have something cooking in the crock pot, some rice going on the stove, wine in my cup, and just a few more hours, I'll be getting my shower, getting ready for bed, and going back to work tomorrow. So let me do share with you something else that's rather exciting. Um, and this may not go anywhere, and, and if it doesn't, that's okay. But uh, one, where I work at the nursing home, we have a director of nursing, and then we have two assistant director of nursing, one for each side of the building. And one of our assistant director of nursing is retiring this month. And so I'm really excited for her because I don't think I'll ever get to retire. But um, anyways, you never know. So I did inquire about that position. Uh, since I am pursuing a degree in healthcare management, I think it's time for me to start uh, re-exploring management positions. So I'm really excited. Uh, I did inquire about it on uh, Thursday because Friday we were off and uh, actually I had a really nice weekend I was off Friday for the holiday Saturday Sunday the weekend 
and my boss gave me today off so I had a four-day weekend so anyways tomorrow when I get back to work I'm really hoping I know tomorrow's gonna be real busy because I'm in care plans all day but um, or all the afternoon anyways so I'm really hoping there might be an opportunity there I'm exploring it I'm going to look into it and see what the possibilities are so wish me luck anyways that's all I have for today and uh, I hope you all had a really good uh, weekend and safe 4th of July and July 1st for the Canadians uh, Canada Day and I am a Canadian by the way I, I guess I have to throw that in I'm a transplanted Canadian living in Texas I am a permanent resident however so I am here legally just needed to throw that in so anyways uh, thank you all for joining me and spending a little bit of time with me it's been 16 minutes almost uh, 15, 56, 57, 58, 59, 16 minutes. So I will let you go and thank you for joining me. Uh, please remember to give this a thumbs up if you liked it. Share the video. I'm really trying to get my uh, subscribers up. And um, anyways, I love you all and take care and be safe and remember to show and spread the kindness. Bye-bye for now.